My project involves analyzing the internal structure and three-dimensional shape of the RNA of the new novel coronavirus, also known as SARS-CoV-2. To accomplish this, I am using web-based software and publicly available databases of viral RNA sequences. And through this, I'm working towards making a map of the structure and shape of the coronavirus. And the goal is that this will help future research into direct RNA interacting therapies. So I was doing research on a separate project in Dr. Sakulaski's lab when, and this was before the pandemic occurred. And as the semester shifted to online learning over the week of spring break, Dr. Sakulaski put together this project to look at the structural features and not just the sequence of the virus itself, but more of the three-dimensional shape of the RNA. And the data that we found was promising enough to allow us to continue over the summer. Breakthroughs in science are almost never like something you would see depicted in a motion picture, right? The true breakthroughs tend to happen when you have many, many people and many, many labs across the world working on little tiny parts of the overall puzzle. And what we're hoping to do is just you know, find some clues, some hints that can help the research effort. You know, the RNA virus is made up of 29,000 nucleotides, which are the little individual building blocks. So there's a, it's a huge uh, polymer. And, you know, Brandon's work is looking for little points of interest in this huge polymer that, you know, med the medical research community and the biology community can then focus their research on. You can't just try to study everything at once and get it done really fast. So we're trying to narrow down some points of interest for future research. I wouldn't say pressure would be the right word. I think it's more excitement that I'm working on something that is a global pandemic. And even though it may seem small, it still hopefully will lead to a contribution that will maybe be able to help with fighting this disease.